hello there and uh, welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Lanka and feel appreciated uh, we really appreciate your time to be with us here now as you've seen it's uh, on the on the on the heading on the title on the topic on what you're going to discuss today I would like to really urge you to make room for God to bless you by emptying out the negative emotions the negativity that we carry along with us most of the time it will bring us um, weakness it is not good for us it is like an infection when you are bitter when you are angry when you're jealous when you're envious when you have all those negative emotions they really derail you and make you weak and most of the time they hinder you from progress and you know for us here we are progressive people we are people of substance we are people who are making impact and a, a, and a difference and we are leaders and it is important for us to have a foundation that is very key that is built and cannot be shaken and these are the things that people do not understand but i want you to bring it i want to bring it to your attention so that you can be able to understand and you can be able to check into your life and see whether you have any of them and then you can be able to empty them out most people are, are dragged down by the by the things that we carry because we do not know how to handle them but the best thing is to let go the best thing is to forgive the best thing is to just not carry them to heart and the best thing is to learn to explain your anger rather than to express it that we've said time and time again and we'll keep saying it until we are able to perfect it so that we can be the people that we want to be now there is a statement that I read. I I will not. Uh, I will quote it. It's a scripture in Proverbs, uh, chapter fourteen, which says that a relaxed attitude lengthens life. I need you to understand that when you're relaxed, when you're not anxious. When you're not anxious, when you're not worrying about life and the things, I'm not saying that you're going to be careless and not be concerned and not doing what you're supposed to do. But I'm talking about getting to a point where you're really anxious, where you're really worried because there's something could go wrong or something could not work out as it is supposed to. So I want you to get to that point and realize that when you get to the place where you're anxious and worried, then you should let it go because it will do you more harm than good even Jesus himself <clears throat> said that you cannot uh, add an inch of your life by worrying this uh, uh, there is a statement that is uh, written in the Bible and, and says especially in Psalms seller what does seller mean horse and think about it like now pause and think about it you will not add an inch to your life by worrying or being fearful or being afraid and being anxious. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lanka. We are grateful. We really appreciate that you've taken your time to be here. As always, we don't take it for granted. So feel appreciated. But yourself at the back. We really appreciate your time in here. Now, we're going to talk about those important things that will help us to be the people that we want to be. One, I want, you to, br I want to bring it to your attention that you can be able to make room for God to bless you. It doesn't mean that, uh, whatever I mean by that is that the moment you empty out the negative the moment you put it away you're not jealous you're not anxious you're not worried you're not sad you're not mad you're not bitter you're not envious i mean the list is countless you're making room because at a point when we hold on to those things when we hold on to them in our lives, in our minds, in our hearts, they really make us weak and they are very infectious. And it has been said that most of the diseases that are out there are brought by the fact that you're very stressed and you can't handle it and you bring imbalance to your body and 
there you go you attract some imbal uh, imbalance and, uh, and sickness comes along so it is very necessary today we just share out a few things here to let go to relax to just uh, have a positive attitude to be op optimistic about life to look at it from the light side not to look at it from the dark side of life because life is made up of choices and I, I, as I was reading a book and they say that life you have to learn the art of living. Sela that means pause and think about it. You can learn. You can learn how to let go of, uh, of, of bitterness and pain and anger and all those negative emotions. You can learn how to let them go. So today, I just want to to talk about what we can do and, uh, and and understand that life is made up of choices and the choices that we are going to make are those that are going to be beneficial to us most of the time we'll go through um we'll go through life and sometimes maybe things will not go as they are supposed to be maybe you will make a mistake and i want you to learn to empty out the guilt if you made a mistake empty out the guilt we really go to god and ask him to forgive us it's also important to learn to forgive ourselves because most people don't do they go beating themselves up because of something that they did that did not go well and they don't forgive themselves so it is important you learn to forgive yourself and if you make a mistake then you empty the guilt out if you didn't do well in anything you know you can do better or you're supposed to do better or you're better than that then empty out the regret just make sure that you empty it out don't don't let it eat you up don't let it um uh, take the uh, the best part of you by thinking uh i should have done this i should have done this just empty out the regret again if you did your best and you did everything in your power and beyond your power to make sure that things were right and everything went well and then no credit was given nobody realized it nobody appreciated it nobody saw whatever you did empty the self-pity do not be pitiful and think oh my life is this way or that way or and no if no credit was given then learn to empty out the self-pity because most of us stay in that state of self-pity and we don't even repeat we don't put ourselves into a position of doing anything better because no credit was given at all learn to know who you are your identity and the things that you're supposed to do and do them even when no credit is given another thing because bad breaks uh, 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 can come at any point these are not things that we predict these are not things that we want in our lives but at a point they come into our lives so if at any point of your life you get any bad break or something happens that was not supposed to happen then empty out the questions I've had people if something if they get a loss they ask why does God hate me the world is unfair empty out the questions it is a process it is an art of learning how to live so this is a process this is the art that we are being taught that I'm teaching out to you so that you can have an understanding the clarity of knowing a matter as it is and knowing what to do I read in the Bible the Word of God I always say my experiences are from the Word of God I read that most of the time and I read in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 20 and the Bible clearly states that a relaxed attitude lengthens life just see see about that how beautiful and wonderful it is to understand that a relaxed attitude you see there's ne and there is nothing negative about a relaxed attitude you can all see the goodness uh, uh popping in it and you can see that it lengthens life you see you can be able to make choices choices that are good to add into your life and be able to have a favorable and an admirable life the life of your dreams by the choices that you make by emptying out the bitterness the 
the pain and this means that in our lives in our day-to-day -day life this is the choice that we make in our mind we have to know that people will rub us the wrong way but again we have to be prepared with forgiveness it's like handing out cards of forgiveness be ready to let go be ready to to forgive be ready not to accumulate the anger that will turn into bitterness in your heart in your life so just understand that God doesn't run out of favor you cannot finish the blessings of God and what he has stored upon your life will be given but learn to to let go and learn to empty out and when you do that you will put away so many things that are unnecessary so many things that will really hinder us from focus just look at it I've also looked at uh, another scripture that says that be sober in first Peter chapter 8 verse uh, 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 first Peter chapter 5 verse 8 it says be sober you see when you're anxious when you really are anxious and you're worried it it, it, it comes to your mind like some intoxication some do not shower some do not uh, eat you're not uh, able to perform what you're supposed to do that means that you're not sober you're not alert and as a person you should be sober you should be alert so that you can be able to carry out the responsibilities that are given to you so what are we saying in short we are saying that we are people who are going to make the right choices so, so that we can enjoy our life and do not be afraid of failure Failure is an option. Let's say, for example, uh, uh, for example, you went to sell your product to somebody and they said no. That's another opportunity to get to speak to another person. I mean, how many people started with so many no's and finally the yeses they've gotten were millions and they changed their lives completely. Do not be afraid. I know it looks uh, discouraging and it doesn't look like something, but then we have to embrace life as it is and we have to learn to negotiate the bends that life brings us and be able to come out of them without any injury because many people do not get out of bitterness many people live their lives angry many people live their lives with a lot of pain and they do not enjoy your life so it's my plea to you today my serious serious plea that you learn to let go you learn to empty out to let go you know we are just talking about letting go it it doesn't mean that this is bread and butter that is going to be very easy that somebody forgives you uh, wrongs you and you forgive them immediately but then you have to be prepared in your mind in your soul to let go because the moment you hold on to these people the moment now you are holding them in um you are holding them in your heart and in your life you're hindering yourself to achieving the goals of life because when we we hold on to those things they really deter us from becoming the best versions of the people we are supposed to be so from me here it's it's adios again i hope you take your time to really consider to empty out anything that is negative in your life so that we can all grow together and be successful all together remember to subscribe share and comment thank you for being a part of this lovely family it's adios